it should be. They pushing more of the get on the field, be a star, get to the NFL, get to the NBA, as opposed to get in the class, learn what's going to happen with this money, so in case you do become successful, or even after your career is over, you should have a business plan for life after ball. Yeah. It's uh, it's hard for people to think about that, like when it's going to end. Imagine when these, for example, tr- try a UFC fighter, someone who wins on the contender and he gets – a contract for three fights, then he gets another three fights, and now he's got $20, 30000000 million. And then two years later, he has zero. Yeah. Because he didn't know how to position it. Like, look at how Conor McGregor took his UFC shit and started branding and making money here and there and there and there and there and there. Like, But he's probably, like, one of the only ones. You don't see a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's like Tom Brady. He's a one-on-one. There's only one on ones. LeBron James, he's a one on one, but that creates an atmosphere to where some can follow. You probably won't be as high as him, but you'll be in the same realm. Yeah. Those rare humans like that, those one of ones. Like mm-hmm. everybody's like, why? You know, when you see a, a Conor McGregor, like how the fuck is he so much more interesting? Like what's going on? Like what's going on when someone just blows up and you just want to see them fight? More than anything. Like this, uh, do you know who Hamzat Shemaev is? Yes. That's that's another guy that everybody's like, I can't wait to see that motherfucker fight again. Can he I fight again tomorrow? See, I want to see him fight too. Can Joe. he fight tomorrow? I fucking want to see him too. I don't know why, but I do want to <sighs> see him. He's got fight. it. Whatever that thing is, he's got it. It's that interest to, to yeah. want to learn more about him because he's he's entertainment. Yeah. When he's like, I killed them all <laughs> after his last fight. And he's bring them to me. I, I killed them him. all. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, this motherfucker sound like he's in gladiators Dude, and shit. He's real. Yeah. That's really him, too. But see, that, like I say, the best thing you could do is you. Yeah. He's having fun doing him right now. And, and, we, and we're locked in because we don't see too many people doing him but him. Snoop, the word is he's even better than you've seen. The, mm. the word is by people who train with him, they're like, dude, he is a fucking freak of nature. He's a freak of nature. He's really smart. He knows what to do. He's got sick timing. He's just like he's got a, a, a super genius fight mindset. Like, like you watch him fight, he doesn't make any mistakes. He's had, I, I think he's had three or four fights in the UFC. He's only even hit twice. He's that defensive? He, he's just a swarm. Wow. He's just a swarm. Mm. One guy knocked out with one punch in the first round. These other guys, he just gets a hold of and smashes them. It's wild. And there's nothing you can do when he get his hands on you. It's wild, and everybody can sense it. So he's got that thing about him, and he's got that thing about him just purely from his talent. Connor has that thing about him because of his talent and his personality. Right, right, and his conversation. Like, yeah. Just when you hear him talk, just to hear somebody from that country talk, that shit just sounds fucking crazy, <laughs> especially when they talking that shit. Like, you know that, <laughs> I'll fucking take his fucking head off and fucking break That's his fucking, fucking bollocks. Yeah, like that shit just sound like a fucking movie to me, one of them motherfucking <laughs> Uh, Guy Ritchie movies. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, angry British men. The, the, the best sounding angry English yes. people. <laughs> Fuck yes. The best sounding angry people for sure. Connor's going to give you a sound bite. You can believe that. That's hilarious. So true. I mean, and that shit talking just makes it so much more interesting when it actually comes to the fight. But that's what we love about sports is that you could talk shit as a fan and as a as a person that's actually in the middle of the situation yeah and that's what we love about the shit that we do is that we could talk shit and back it up and when the fight is over with you know it is what it is we got to move on because i like when somebody talking shit and then they do the press conference they do a little pushing and all that shit then they get in the fight 20 minutes later and he got his ass kicked yeah and then you got to interview him he'd be like well you know i, got, I respect him now you know i got, I got respect for him now <laughs> I love that when somebody earns their respect. 